Hey, what's up everyone? OJ here. Welcome back to a quick Platinum Games news update. So there's been a lot of information swirling around the internet when it comes to Platinum Games, a potential wonderful 101 Kickstarter page. Shout outs to Game Explain that had the original report on that. And now there's even more information with a brand new Platinum Games website called Platinum 4 Teaser Site. So could this be the wonderful 101 self-published titles in the future? Does it have to do with Tencent? There's so much stuff to get into here, guys. So let's go ahead and get into the topic article first. Then we'll move on to what I think this is. Platinum Games has launched a teaser website called Platinum 4. The information text on the website reads, hashtag Platinum 4 site is now open. On January 31st, Platinum Games tweeted what appeared to be the wonderful 101 related teaser. It showed director Hideki Kamiya a computer screen with the time and date 101 on 10 1 and a Nintendo Switch. Platinum Games also recently announced it received a capital investment from Tencent Holdings to expand into self publishing. So let's talk about this, guys. There's a lot to digest. Let's first start off with the information that we do know with the teaser of the wonderful 101, what Game Explain report initially said, and everything like that. So this is probably what I'm thinking. The initiative and in how Platinum Games is going to get into self-publishing, is going to get into owning their own IP, and is going to get into actually advancing and making more than what they usually make on games. Having the struggling type of game sales that they usually have with a lot of games, where really it wasn't until recently with Nier and then also with Astral Chain. Those are the two fastest selling games that they've had right before sales have been a bit sluggish or slow to get to a million units or whatever the case was. But I think that this is the next step in the company. They've been trying to shift. They've been trying to form. And I think that this Platinum 4 is what's going to be the start of it. Maybe it's four different things that they're going to do in terms of a roadmap to get to where they want to get to. Maybe starting off with the wonderful 101 Kickstarter to kind of get funds going, get that ready to go. Next up could be any games that they're working on. There's another game that they're working on with Square Enix, for example. That could be it. The next step could be using that investment from Tencent in order to announce a new game as well, getting that game going and what they're planning on doing. So there could be four different related big announcements when it comes to working for other companies in order to get a game. So being hired as like a mercenary developer to get their games done like they've been doing for all the years. Kickstarter projects if they want to do something themselves. Tencent Holdings in terms of their publications, their investment, getting into it, new IP announcements. There's a lot of different rotating pieces that could be what this Platinum 4 means from a business and also from a game player standpoint in terms of what we're going to get. Platinum Games is not this massive company that makes all these millions upon millions upon millions of dollars with their game releases. They just simply don't. The best selling game in their arsenal is Nier. That's it at 4 million on an install base of well over 150 million when you count in the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and the PC. And the game's been out for nearly three years now. So yes, that did well, but it's not like they're overrun with money or anything. Now, the next thing that I would wanna to point to is this 10 cent holdings investment. We still need to see what the regulations or stipulations of that investment is. What type of games will they be making with that money? What are they planning to do with it? How is Tencent gonna dictate or control what's going on and exactly what is the basis of that money? You know, I'm not sure if it was just dropped into their account and they can do whatever the heck they want with it. So there's also that, but there could be even heck the next tease or the next show of working for the companies like I talked about, Bayonetta 3. We still haven't seen much on that front. So maybe they're going to have some type of blitz of information when it comes to what they're going to be working on, when it comes to what they're working on for this company, giving more thoughts um, and just kind of giving us more of an insight in terms of what they're trying to do as a company going forward. Um, I'm not sure what the four means, but if you look at the picture here, you have the four different stars on four different areas of this picture that you have you have the highlighted in the background and it just says four right there in the center so it's obviously something to do with multiple different aspects whether it's porting to different systems whether it's having different business plans putting together different 
parts of business in terms of where they want to attack for consumers whether it be kickstarter for smaller projects or bigger games for publishers this is what platinum games is probably going to go forward for in the future heading into this next generation of systems and just going forward with what they have with the nintendo switch because there's a good thing there astral chain obviously proves that so it's going to be interesting to see what they end up doing um, but what are you guys' thoughts on this? What do you guys think Platinum Games is going to go forward with with this Platinum Teaser website? I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. All right, and moving on to the next topic here, guys. We're going to discuss new rumors of there being two Nintendo Directs in February. Sabi on Twitter has stated that a reliable friend of his, Zippo, is claiming that there will be two Directs for this month of February for obvious reasons. Let's go ahead and get right into what Zippo had to say on the matter. All right then, might as well let it out. There's two directs this month. You've already guessed what they obviously are. Not sure of the timing, but that February 20th stuff lines up for Animal Crossing. Please don't flood me. So essentially what he's saying here is that Nintendo is going to go with a two direct approach, which does seem to make sense. I thought that they could do an Animal Crossing direct in terms of just focusing completely on Animal Crossing, which that's still possible, we'll have to wait and see on it, but then also having a regular Direct for February. Now, I made a video not too long ago predicting the next Nintendo Direct. I went back and analyzed the eight years of Nintendo Directs that we've had, seven, eight years, and a majority of them, when it comes to early year Directs, have fallen in February. Now, when I did this video, pretty much I knew that January was probably off the table. January was not going to be a time when they needed to have a direct. They had a phenomenal 2019 December. There was no need to have anything there. Let stuff line up and get things going in February. Right before the fiscal year ends, February is a short month. It just makes sense to do it in February. You have Animal Crossing. So I thought February would be a target date for it. Now, once again, these rumors are just that, rumors. But from what I've seen, it does seem like it's going to be February for the Nintendo Direct. And we're talking about a normal Nintendo Direct, not a mini Direct, not a this type of Direct or that type of Direct, but a normal Nintendo Direct and an Animal Crossing Direct. So if it lines up with what he's saying here, we should hear about a Nintendo Direct being announced fairly soon. Now we talked about this in a separate video that I had as well, saying that there would be some type of movement on a Direct, but it's probably coming February, guys. That's what I would guess. At the latest, it would be early March, like we saw in 2018 when Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was announced for the Nintendo Switch. So, what do you guys think about all this information when it comes to Platinum Games and also rumors of this Nintendo Direct? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, guys, I'm moving on to the final topic here. We do have an update on a game that's exclusive to Nintendo Switch but it will be coming to the PC via Steam on February 13th, and that is Damon X Machina. Yes, this game will be moving over from the Nintendo Switch to the PC. This is courtesy of Marvelous and Exceed. You will be able to enjoy the games in 60 frames per second, and the official Steam page is live, so you can save 20% off of the sale price of the game if you do pre-order it. It will be $47.99, there will also be some special promotion offers that end on March 13th with a prototype arsenal and a prototype pug suit as well. So here's a little bit more information about the game if you don't know about Damon X Machina, which is available on the Nintendo Switch but will be coming to Steam, of course. You are an outer, a new breed of human being that appeared in an aftermath of the Moonfall Calamity. As a mercenary of the Orbital Organization, you are on the front line of a desperate war for humanity's survival against the Immortals, corrupted AIs that have rebelled against their human creators. Piloting a fully customizable mech known as an arsenal, you must team up with mercenaries like yourself and complete missions to defeat the Immortals once and for all. Be careful, in a war fought by mercenaries, today's allies can become tomorrow's enemies. So, it's pretty cool there that they're bringing this game over to Steam, and honestly, I feel the PC slash modding community is going to go absolutely nuts with this game when it comes to different types of skins and mods and stuff that you can do in the game. So, 
awesome stuff for more people to be able to play Damon X Machina. It's just very unfortunate how I would probably say Marvelous handled the situation with the Nintendo Switch. You guys are only going to be seeing a still shot because of that because they really just copyright claimed and just did this game horrible justice when it comes to the marketing and promotion of it. I honestly feel that they completely gimped the sales of the game, which is why we got sales numbers for games like Astral Chain and also Marvel Ultimate Alliance crossing 1 million and Damon X Machina did not, at least not reported from Nintendo. Now, I'm pretty sure the game sold well enough. I don't think it flopped or anything like that, but I do feel that it could have done a lot better if we were simply allowed to market the game or promote the game like normal. But that is in the past. That is neither here or there. The important information out of this is that Damon X Machina is coming to PC via Steam. So if you want to enjoy the game on there, you can definitely do so with some of those bonuses. And of course, with a nice discount if you do pre-purchase the game. So what are you guys' thoughts on all the different topics that we discussed here? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Make sure you check out the link in the description below. Follow me on Twitter for all the latest news and information and my thoughts on things. Also, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and share if you can. It really does help out Player Essence. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you for the next one. Peace.